Hey, my name's Lila Gamelik and I'm from Elizabeth College. Today we're talking to Kelly from Poco People. Let's go have a chat. What's your role here at Poco People? Um, I'm the owner of Poco People, so I'm um, the chief designer and I'm also sort of a business administrator as well because it's my own business. What does a typical day look like for you? I work on um, print products, so I design books and posters and logos and brochures. Um, but some things like reports and books um, can be sort of month-long jobs, so I'll work on those. Um, sometimes I have client meetings, so they come in and chat with me about a new job or might want to look over my shoulder and make changes. And then, yeah, a lot of phone calls, but basically it's just me one-on-one -on -one time with my computer. What's your favourite part of being a graphic designer? Um, also, I do mostly work for not-for-profits, so it's really a lovely process for me being able to help out um, with charities and not-for-profit organisations in Tassie and also be able to make um, an income as well. I find those relationships that I've made really rewarding. What are some of the opportunities of the industry that people might not realise? Um, the client's always trying to communicate a message so in some ways you need to sort of understand audiences and some basic principles of marketing. Often you're working with photographers or web designers. So I think some things that um, you might not have known were part of graphic design can be really exciting to discover as you start designing full time. Who's suited to something like this? Well, I think there's two parts to that. There's running your own business and there's being a graphic designer. I think running your own business, people tend to be quite ambitious and you need to be well organised, obviously, um, and driven. Um, with being a designer, I think there's a couple of things that are really key. Um, patience is one, and it's not just with your clients. That's the um, obvious thing is sort of being able to um, wait for content and incorporate loads and loads of changes and perhaps um, explain the process of how things work to client new clients. But it's also patience in yourself and in the job because I think it takes many years to get the practice you need. Um, to become a really competent designer. It's taken me 10 years to get um, really efficient at what I do. But also on a day-to-day -day level, being professional in all of your emails and meetings and phone calls, um, being able to ask questions and um, raise any concerns and stick to timelines, all of those kind of things are part of being a really good communicator and I think that um, clients really appreciate someone who's on the ball and takes the initiative. For someone who wants to get into graphic design, uh, what kind of pathways should they be looking at? I think really importantly, if you're wanting to become a designer, you really need to start practicing um, and designing things so that you start to build up a folio because as an employer, I'm pretty, pretty interested in seeing a folio of what you've been working on rather than sort of the theory behind that. Um, but I think there's lots of different ways to get um, into the creative industries and um, talking to people who are already involved is a great way to sort of understand how they got to where they are. For students interested in graphic design, I reckon this will give them a great understanding of the opportunities. 